Welcome to this video in which we're going to show you a mock-up of a case management system that Valter recently built for one of our clients. As I say, uh, this is just a mock-up, it's just a dummy um, of the uh, final system. It was one of the sort of proof of concepts that we set up to show our client what is possible using the out-of-the-box SharePoint online features, as well as then leveraging Power Automate for some additional workflows. Um, now, I should mention before we get started that this is um, a, 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 is a mock-up, but it's a mock-up of the administration page. So typically, when you go into a case management system as an end user, say, for example, we built this for a legal company, um, their lawyers would be going into it, and they would have a slightly more cut-down version just to see cases related uh, to them. Um, whereas, actually, this is more of an admin view which shows you all of the cases and breaks it down. So you'd have a bit of a SharePoint homepage like this uh, in which it kind of tells you a little bit about what the case management system is about. It's designed to streamline your case handling process to create, track and manage cases efficiently with task assignment and document management. We aim to deliver excellent case management services. So the button there will take you through to view all cases. However, there's some um, additional views of these cases because cases are just documents essentially essentially stored with additional metadata. Um, so we could go directly into say my cases, so any cases which have been assigned directly to me. So say for example, if I was a law firm, um, I might go into this and I see the cases which are assigned directly to me as a lawyer. Um, I could see as an admin, all of the different uh, cases by assigned um, lawyers. So I could f filter them down by priority so maybe they've got low medium and high by status whether they're new whether they're open whether they've been worked on whether they're complete um, or whether they've been closed uh, prior to completion um, as well as by accounts so you can look at them uh, based on your customers your client base as well um, so we could have some basic graphs entered onto this. So this is just using the SharePoint out of the box quick charts, which are placed on here, which are really simple and easy to update, but they're very simplistic. If you wanted some really kind of meaty reporting going on in your cases, you can also embed Power BI really easily into a SharePoint site. And then we can do things like pulling out most recent case files um, or most viewed case files. And again, this could be um, either a, an overarching view for all cases cases, if you are maybe more of an overarching admin uh, that was looking at this, or um, it could be um, specific just to that user so they just see the documents which um, they are allowed to see. So this is the, the home page of the case management system, um, and this is designed to help you navigate the cases really easily. But essentially in the background, which is running this, is we have a document library, which is where all of our cases sit. Now, <clears throat> we are using folders within here. Um, which are the name of our, our cases. Obviously, uh, these are just Dobby, Lorem Ipsum names, um, but imagine they were the names of the cases. Um, we can also do things like um, using what they call document sets, which is where you can specify these metadata at the, at the high level, these, these tags, and then all of the documents are automatically inheriting those tags, which makes it much easier and cuts down on this kind of repetitive tagging. Um, so once you tag a case that the assigned to person is Joe Blogs, all of the files then within that are tagged as them. So when you're using the search bar, or you're using this kind of filtering option to filter by uh, who it's assigned to, we can easily find those documents. You can see in our case uh, management system, typically you'd have like a case ID. So every case um, typically would have um, an ID and every file which sits within that case would have its own unique ID as well. You would have a case folder. Uh, which then could potentially have a subset of folders as a template that sits underneath it. Um, and again, that would, you could have a name for that. You can also lock down cases on a case-by-case -case basis. So per folder, you could lock this down. Um, so only specific people was to have access. So maybe the case manager, uh, a lawyer um, might just have access to this. And then an overarching admin might have access to all of the particular case folders. Also, because this is leveraging SharePoint's folder um, features, this means that we can actually generate a very specific URL hyperlink to this folder. So if you're using other third-party systems um, that, that need to be able to store documents in SharePoint, you could then easily hyperlink or even automate the hyperlink to this folder within a third-party system. So you could go, you'd be working in your... Uh, separate system, click on a button to launch the files and it automatically 
uh, jumps into this particular folder. We can see things like the date and time of when it was last modified, who last modified it. You can also include when it was created originally and who the person who created these files or folders would be. Uh, we can see who it's assigned to. And as I say, we can filter this. Uh, actually, all of these columns we can filter by. So if I was just interested in, say, um, cases where Joe Bloggs um, is assigned, I can then filter and find these particular cases. Um, we can also group by as well. So if I was just to clear that filter, if I was to group by who it's assigned to, I can quickly then see all of the different cases by uh, who it's assigned to. Um, so if we pretend these are all, all our kind of lawyers potentially that are using this, I could see all the ones which are assigned to Hugh. I could then jump directly into the ones which are assigned to Joe and very quickly see um, those different cases. Again, uh, we could filter or group by things like priority. Um, <clears throat> and we can we can tag this with whatever you like. Um, so within reason, um, you can have as many tags in here as you like. But I would suggest ideally you don't want more than three or four because um, it can get a bit time consuming than even setting up the folder originally if you've got loads of things to tag. Um, and maybe necessarily that people would use all of those different tags but you tend to find who it's assigned to the priority again it could look, be low medium high or any different combination that you wish uh, status and again the statuses you tend to find um, people want to have their own kind of versions of statuses but they, they usually follow something along the lines of that it's brand new that has been assigned to somebody um, and it's been worked on and then it's either complete as in it's the case has come, uh, come to a finish naturally or it's um, complete uh, or it's sorry it's been cancelled before completion for example but you can have whatever status as you like uh, within there typically then you would have a primary kind of account or a client uh, and this could be um, so a bit of a lookup and we could even integrate your third party CRM system into this to pull through your accounts and contacts um, as well as there might be things like I'm just showing a bit of an example of uh, like a rank status type thing where um, maybe cases need to be closed within a certain period of time or they need to be worked on within a certain period of time and then we could show um, the age days on this so on this I think we've I've just put an example of if it's over 50 days then the text will turn red for example so you could very quickly see things which are coming up um, that you need to be working on um, you could then report back on these sort of things using something like Power BI to say how many of these have we got open how many of them are aged that sort of thing um, to really give you insight into what's going on in your case management system but this is leveraging all the same out of the box SharePoint functionality of being able to go and create brand new files and folders, being able to upload files and folders, even being able to sync these documents so you can access them directly through File Explorer. So all of the same things that we're um, familiar with inside of SharePoint Online, we can do using um, this system. So as I say, we've not built anything with custom code. We're just leveraging all the great features that Microsoft have to offer, offer inside of SharePoint. We can then do additional things like we can automate specific rules. Um, so we could do things like if a document has not been uh, updated within a week, then chase whoever it's assigned to to make sure that it's up to date, um, especially if the status might be, say, pending client or something like that. Um, we can automate things like emails which are coming in to automatically be stored inside of folders. Um, that often is the triggering point for something like a case management system um, is actually an email that's coming into a shared mailbox um, could automatically go and create one of these folders and then move any corresponding emails into that folder afterwards. So um, as I say, this is not like a hard and fast product um, that we've kind of built. Um, it's a set of building blocks that we can configure to your requirements. Um, so if you did want to um, contact us, um, we can help work with you to understand what your requirements are, to then build our case management system, which is best for you. You can contact us uh, at hello at valto.co.uk um, and we can have a conversation about um, the best fit of SharePoint for you, what you want to achieve, uh, and we can look at building you out a solution. Um, building out kind of solutions using SharePoint is so much more efficient than building them with um, sort of custom code and long-winded development like that. So get in touch with us today and we can see how we can uh, help you. Thank you very much for your time watching this video.